everyone, welcome back to Mirai Club. Today, I'm gonna be kind of going over why we created a channel for this car. This is a 2022 Toyota Mirai XLE. It is a hydrogen car, obviously, if you haven't figured that out already. It's a Gen 2 Mirai, and my wife and I purchased this car uh, in uh, February of 2021. Two, two, 22. Um, and yeah, we were intrigued by the incentives. We learned, we did some research online uh, regarding the infrastructure, um, the prices of hydrogen, servicing the car, a lot of the things that you all probably are doing if you're considering this car, or if you have one already, what you probably did or you should have done. Um, so with that being said, we got the car, it was great. Infrastructure was eh, not so, it was okay at the time. Uh, it was about $17 a kilogram, but outside of the price, um, yeah, it was choppy at times, but not too bad. And then here we are, um, as many of you know, hydrogen's been a little sketchy lately, sketchy as in, um, all right, sketchy is probably not the right word, um, unstable, if that's the best way to put it, but not too, uh, reliable, if you will, but videos like these, my channel is hopefully an, uh, one of the avenues at which you get an idea of what's going on. I don't, I don't think I have most of the answers in terms of what's the infrastructure going to be like in the future, what's the car going to be like, is it going to be obsolete in the future. This channel as of now is strictly how is it to live with a hydrogen car, specifically a Toyota Mirai. If you're considering the Hyundai Nexo, hopefully this gives you a, um, a perspective on how it is to live with a hydrogen car outside of the, um, the capabilities of the car, which I also kind of go into. It's mainly how is it to fill up, um, what are the common things that you'll have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so hopefully that educates you enough, um, gives you an idea to whether to buy the car if you haven't already. And if you currently do buy the, if you already have one, um, does my experience match up to yours? Um, a lot of you have shared your comments in the comments of what's your, what your hydrogen story has been like. So I, hopefully this channel is for, the goal is to provide perspective of owning and operating such a vehicle as a Toyota Mirai. So for those of you that are subscribed, I really appreciate it. I hope you get some value out of it. Um, if not, just some me rambling on while the hydrogen, uh, the hydrogen station refuels or gets ready to pump. But anyway, that's the reason why I made this YouTube channel. So stick around, let me know what you think. And also what are some topics that you would want me to cover even if I don't have the answers um, perhaps I can be the forum at which you guys can uh, discuss. Um, but yeah, I have the car. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see me do with the car. What you want me to cover, at least um, if I can't do all the research or as much as I would like. And there is so much on the topic of um, hydrogen, the infrastructure, the car itself. But if I can't answer the questions, hopefully this is a forum where you can learn from your fellow peers, learn from people that love hydrogen, people that hate it. But um, anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you why that, um, or explain why the channel exists in the first place. Thanks.